Hello everyone, Steam is having a autumn sale from November 21st to 28th that it starts today and lasts for about a week. And I'm just going to go ahead and go through it and see what they have to offer. I always like looking at these you know, video game providers, uh, video game sellers, just to see if they have anything worth buying or have anything interesting. I might not buy it today, but it might be on my watch list, I guess you could say, uh, in the future. Hopefully it gets cheap enough or if it's on sale, then uh, I might pick that up sometime in the future, if not this time. But yeah, let me know if you see any names that you think you really enjoy and you think it's worth getting, uh, or if you have any opinions on any of these games. Because I'm not too big of a gamer, so I really uh, value, I guess, other people's opinions on these. But in their main names here, um, Ready or Not, don't think I've heard of this before, but it looks like it's a tactical FPS shooter. Graphics looks pretty good. Um, I'm guessing it's kind of like Rainbow Six Siege or something like that, maybe. I'm sure there's a lot of games you can compare it to. A Anno 1800. So this is like a strategy city builder. I might consider getting one of these. This is kind of like a relaxing game for me. Um, but I'll have to take a look at some more options before I make a decision. Looks good though. Got pretty good reviews. Same with this Ready or Not game. Battle Bit I have heard of. Um, I think a few months ago it's a pretty new game. I heard like the devs were really focused on gameplay rather than like the visuals, so which is why you see these uh, cartoony games, but I really don't mind that. It seems like it seems really fun, honestly. So maybe that might be something I'll keep an eye out for. Resident Evil, I definitely know this one. Definitely a really popular franchise. Not a huge horror fan though. And it is still kind of pricey, about 40 bucks. Grand Theft Auto, yep, that is a classic. I actually do have this, so I'll go ahead and skip that for now. But <laughs> 1 million view reviews, so yeah. It's definitely pretty good. And then also... Uh, GTA 6 has been announced, so we'll see how they do with that one. Sea of Thieves. So this has actually been on my watch list for a while. Um, I'm just kind of waiting for it to maybe get a little bit cheaper. But I do like these open world multi uh, multiplayer adventures. And it's like a pirate on the ocean. That just seems like a really fun game. But not sure if I'll get on this uh, sale or not. Sekiro, I've heard of this, but other than the name, I don't really know much about it. It did get Game of the Year, um, and it's kind of like Dark Souls, I guess, based on this tag right here. Remnant, I've not heard of too much, so I'm not going to go into that. Uh, Red Dead Redemption, yep, that's uh, another pretty good one. I might get this if it's cheaper. Um, it's just that these games are usually like really big. I'm not sure if my computer can handle it, but I'll have to do some more research on the spec requirements. Battlefield, I'm not a big fan of these kind of shooter games. Uh, it also does seem to have mixed reviews, so Battlefield 2042 is probably going to be a pass for me. Same thing with like these uh, EA Sports, like FIFA and stuff like that. Just not a big fan. Destiny. Okay, so these are like all <laughs> pretty poor reviews. Um, I did play Destiny before, and I play it if it's free. I don't think twenty dollars is worth it, and it does seem to have really bad reviews, like thirty percent. So probably a pass for me. Raft. So this game also looks kind of fun. Um, it's kind of like a ocean-based Minecraft or something like that. So yeah. Maybe take this into consideration. Looks like you can go underwater, over water, something like that, build bases, go into islands. Though I do feel like it would be better if you had a friend to play with it. Jedi Survivor. So I actually never finished the first one. I have the first one. Uh, I just kind of lost interest after halfway through the game. So I'm kind of scared I might do the same if I buy this game, but. It does seem to have mixed reviews as well, so not too sure. Um, and it's also 40 bucks, a little bit out of my price point. 
Starfield, same thing, a little bit more expensive. And also, I do feel like it's just a really big game for my computer to handle. Mixed reviews as well. Obviously, I shouldn't judge everything based on reviews. Um, maybe the people on Steam are a little bit harsh with their critiques, but yeah, I definitely need to do a little bit more research on this. Civilization 6. Okay, so I actually wouldn't mind getting this. Um, got really good reviews. I think all the Civilization games are pretty popular and well done. Um, I did hear, though, that these games do can last a long time. <laughs> So I'm not sure if I want to spend too much time on this game, though. But it is pretty cheap, so it might be worth picking up for me. Cyberpunk. So I am a big fan of CD Projekt Red. I do like the Witcher games. And they did seem to turn things around after their kind of rough start, rough launch. So I might take a look at this, though. I might wait for it to be a little bit cheaper, hopefully in the future. Um, I mean, it is single player, so... One of the things about that is if it's a multiplayer game, then you might want to get in early. Otherwise, if you wait too long, the price might go down, but then uh, the player base might also go down. But if it's single player, it's not that big of a deal for me. But yeah, it does seem seem like they did turn things around, so uh, I might get this in the future. Grounded, I don't think I've heard this before, but it's also like some kind of single uh, survival survival craft base building thing dark souls yeah yeah i might get this um, sometime in the future if i feel uh <laughs> courageous they are known for their difficult gameplay so i'm scared that i might just lose my patience and just quit after uh, <laughs> the first level or something rim world don't think i've heard about this one um interesting game but i don't like like this kind of uh visual i don't know it's called like a platform or something like that it's kind of like terraria or something like that terraria is good but this kind of game just never really appealed to me no offense to anyone though stellaris never heard of that so i'm gonna go ahead and skip that for now okay so that's basically um, these main games that they're offering. And we can go down and see some of these other games, like uh, Back for Blood. This is like a copy of Left for Dead, I think. I'm not sure if they use the same developers, but they did seem to get mixed reviews. I'm not sure if I want to get that. Maybe if it's super cheap, then I will. I do like zombie games, though, so that is a big thing. Payday 3, I was a huge fan of Payday 2. Um, but they do seem to have a rocky start, so I might wait f a little bit to see if they uh, fix things. And maybe if the price goes down as well. Rainbow Six Siege, yeah, it seems like a good game. Um, not sure if I'm a huge fan of like the PvP. I'm not, not sure, not sure. Six Days in Fallujah. Probably another shooter, a little bit more expensive. Don't think I've heard of this game before, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, never heard of that. DayZ, okay, so DayZ is one of those games, kind of like Black Ops 2, where the price is just never going down, it seems like. Like, this game is... I don't know. Maybe in the future, um, I might get it if it's, like, a lot cheaper. But I feel like this game is just going to last for a long time and they're never gonna lower the price hopefully i'm wrong though halo not not really a halo fan unfortunately gunfire reborn never heard of this warhammer heard of the name but never played the games squad okay so squad is interesting i know that they have that galactic contention mod where you're able to play as like star wars characters and um, simulate star wars battles that actually seems really appealing to me, but I'd only get it if it's cheaper. And I think I do have to download the mod as well from somewhere. Starship Troopers, um, probably not going to get anything like that. Gary's mod, yeah, this is a pretty fun thing, um, but I think it's more fun if you have friends to play with it. And then Division, eh, I'm going to skip that. And then Call of Duty, I'm probably going to skip that as well. Okay, 
So that's about it. These are the main games that they're offering for this sale. Um, I just like looking at them and see if they have anything worth offering. Let me know if you uh, recommend anything from this list. Maybe you really enjoy it yourself and you think other people should play it as well. But uh, yeah, maybe uh, in the future if there's more sales, I'll take a look at those as well.